This is someone who I don't know if I would be friends with in real life. They are incredibly intimidating. Um, it's it's a beautiful drawing though. His cake arm looks like uh, it would be delicious, uh, but at the same time try to kill you if you try to eat it. But wow, uh, this is beautiful art. This is gorgeous. Wow, <laughs> this is crazy. So he's so it's red velvet cookie or a red velvet man just he definitely loves his soldiers and and it's it's apparent just a beautiful scene fukusagi wonderful work i like blueberry bird zero has drawn a comic and it's a touching beautiful moment it makes brings a tear to my eye it's gorgeous this is very cool. This is from Leo Yu Cookie, and this is the side of Red Velvet Cookie that he wouldn't like to, people to know uh, exists. He's in his element, just enjoying life. Him and Chiffon together forever, and as soon as someone walks in the room, he puts on a, a face and, and becomes the battle-hardened cookie we know and love. Can only be described as uh, a, 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 I don't know how it can be described. He is overwhelmed and uh, just so tired, but he has a responsibility towards his soldiers. He feels strongly towards that and wants them to get their exercise because we all know we need at least 30 minutes of exercise three times a week. They're both uh, getting six pack abs. This is a cosplay from Pen Pen underscore Cookie, uh, who's done an incredible job of crafting the Red Velvet's outfit. Uh, it doesn't look like the arm is edible, but everything else is just amazing. You still get an A. Incredible. I would love to see this at a convention. I go to a lot of conventions. I can't wait to see some of the cosplay. Hopefully I'll meet Pen Pen Cookie at some point so I can take a picture with them and congratulate them on their ex exquisite cosplay of Red Velvet. Um, at Lolly on fire, L O L L Y. I like that. That's like very like pop art. Looks like it could be a poster. That's sick. Kitetsuki. He looks insane there. I love it. I love the energy. That's exactly the energy I was trying to channel for some of the for some of the lines. At the whipped cream, saying cacao is so cute. He deserves so much more appreciation. Oh, well that that is true. That is, they're not wrong. I mean, I, I, I can't draw worth beans. So when people can draw, I'm just like, that's voodoo. That's amazing. I couldn't even draw an actual cookie. Never, you know, never mind an anthropomorphized cookie. So at Cupcake Streets, I like them. Someone will die of fun. Yeah, no, that's the dynamic. Yeah, yeah, that's the... <laughs> you, have to, you have to assume the worst because then you can have dying of fun. So... Yeah, no, I think that's I think that's a very even-handed way to live. That's great. At Bafounier, or Bafounier, if you want to be French. Um, wow, that is that is amazing. That looks like something out of Berserk, just without all of the trauma. I mean, maybe with the trauma. No, no trauma in these actual panels. That's bonkers. That's I. Oh my gosh, how do people draw? Then we have at Wulong Milk Tea. I need an adult. Need an adult and a glass of milk. Uh, yeah, I think I just, in a pivotal moment, did not give him the understanding and the 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 parental love that he needed not to turn into Kylo Ren cookie. So this is at Netan and Cavalli. Uh, this is so cool. I I've only because I've only seen Dark Chocolate Cookie as the cookie, and I've never seen him as this awesome, like we were talking about, this awesome dark prince. I love the colors. I mean, it expresses his power, his calm. I feel drawn to, to this in a really cool way. And I love the sword. The sword is so dope. At uh, Vangsala Vixen. This is really awesome. The fire and the, the play, the light play is so cool. I don't know how you did that. Somebody has to, you have to tell me how you did like the reflections and everything. That's so great. And I also like the hair. I wish I had hair like that. I do not, but that's really cool. This is at Puffbox. Oh, <laughs> this is so sad. He's just alone. <laughs> Enjoying his omelet in the Raspberry Cafe I made. The shoulder pads are on point. Like, exactly the way that he, he's been realized with this. And he's not like completely, I know he looks a little sad in this, but he's not, I, I don't know, you captured his personality really well. And I like that it's in the black and white tones. I think that's really neat. That's nice. At Burn Hannah B. I feel like I'm going to be struck down. This is a great angle. <laughs> this is such a great angle from, yeah, he's got his hand on the sword, he's going to pull it down. Yeah, this is terrifying. Um, 
great work with capturing his his villain side, but also weirdly, like it's the I can see the conflict in the drawing. I don't know how you did that, but that's amazing. See, this is what I wish I could do. This is awesome. Well done. At Nickwix two or Nyquix. Yes, Queen. Dang, she's strong. I love it. I love it when like artists portray like strong women as actually looking like they could kick some butt. And this Holly Berry look cookie oh, looks like she can kick some butt. <laughs> Get gains indeed, Holly Berry. She would totally be a gym rat in this day and age. <gasps> oh, what a cutie. This is by Melody Dark at Melody Dark Chalk. Oh, she's so cute. It almost reminds me of, um, I did ballet growing up, and I know it's supposed to be a bathing suit, but it reminds me of like the tutus that we used to wear. Like she kind of looks like she could be the sugar plum fairy. But I totally love like the old school style of like bathing suit that like included like the shorts and the dresses. I kind of wish we could bring that back sometimes. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so Iris40915, you're incredible. This is so awesome. Oh my god, I love the fieriness. Commandeer, that's a really creative way. Oh my god, I love it. So people can just draw like this and just be amazing like this all the time. Okay, first of all, the cookie is yoked. That I love. Very strong. <laughs> Don't mess with her. Do not mess with that cookie. Citrus bees, I love this so much. The card, so this is a card. Oh my God, this is amazing. I'm digging the uh, skull and crossbones uh, on the scarf, <laughs> it's so cool. Love the hair, love, I just love all of it. Like I said, I'm very jelly of people who are this creative and talented with their art. It's just incredible. That is a really interesting take on the character. There's definitely less vanity, more, I don't know, introspection. He understands that people look up to him to a degree because of his status. He seems almost deep in thought about the burden of his role and stuff like that. I don't know, it gives him a, an interesting dimension that I really enjoy. And but not to mention, just the talent here is, is incredible, the amount of detail. Always blow my mind. Like, I don't know how people do this, you know? It's always incredible. This is, this is how Madeline perceives himself. When he looks in a mirror, he sees this just luscious hair. Just, yes, beautiful, just, just perfection. Madeline, I would assume that if he were non-cookie form, he'd probably be pretty handsome, you know? I think he'd absolutely have a look like that. But this has got a bit more of that anime action vibe, which I really enjoy. He looks like he's uh, about to kick some butt. <laughs> Like he's amping, amping himself up. That, that, is, that is the Madeline look. The, the, the amount of confidence he exudes. Oh my goodness. I love the art style here. I love your art style. She's so pretty. Wow. This is so cool. At Phonetic Rael. It's so, it's so amazing seeing, seeing the different styles. But just seeing also their interpretations of, of her and, and how she looks, you know, as a realistic human. It's so cool. Ooh, at Saida underscore daily. Wow, she really went for it. Oh, she looks gorgeous. Oh, yes, her costume is glorious. Love her robe. Love her hair. You go, girl. 